All right. So here is where we left off, right? We've covered layer effects, transparency. I um, wanted to show you like a couple more things that you can try for, you know, your image collage. Um, you know, part of it was the mask and see how you have this very straight edge right here. Just want to show you how you could use a mask, not to erase, but to soften an edge. Um, I'm going to control my brush. So this is where you can adjust the size of your brush, the hardness of the brush, and the opacity of the brush. So I kind of want a really soft edge. So I'll make it like 19%. And left bracket, right bracket on your keyboard, adjust the um, the size of your brush. Make sure before you start to brush anything on, you're on the mask or else it won't work. Okay. And that your color of your foreground is black. All right. So make sure on my on my layer, and I will. Oops, mistake. See, I'm not on my layer mask. I'm on my image. Make sure I'm on my layer mask. Gonna click once with my brush. If I hold down my shift key, it will make a straight line. You can see the white is what it's kind of fading. I want to kind of adjust this a little bit. So edit free transform or command T. Oops. Mm, there he is. Okay. Just want to move him. Hit return, and I'm going to keep him there for now. I want to fade a little bit, maybe move him over just a smidge. Okay. Um, Look at to see this origami sheet. I'm gonna put a layer mask on it and I want to remove that top area. So I'm gonna get my brush again. This time I want to make it a little bit of a stronger brush. And I'll make it bigger. So left bracket, right bracket. And then circles, I actually want the circles to show up a little bit. So I'm going to put that there and I'm going to hit save. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to go now save. Let's say I'm ready to bring this into my InDesign. So I'm done with my collage, right? Um, the one other thing that you probably will want to play around with maybe in the future was to add a text layer. Um, for now, we're going to save the image for Photoshop. And we're going to add the text in InDesign. Okay. And so you have saved your layered file, your PSD. Make sure you keep that. Um, and I'm going to, if you remember, for us to place anything in InDesign, you have to keep it a TIFF or save it out. So I went to um, File, Save As. I'm going to go to TIFF, change the format. It automatically changes the file extension for me, and I'm going to uncheck layers. 
and I'm going to hit save. If this should look familiar to you, you're going to double check the LZW compression and you're going to click OK. All right. Now, if you remember, you still had to convert the TIFF to a CMYK file. So after I do that, I'm going to open up my TIFF so, so I can look at it, make sure it looks all right. And I'm going to go image mode, and it needs to be CMYK. I'm going to hit save. Okay, so once that happens, I'm going to keep save my file and I'm going to hop into um, InDesign um, and we'll start our next video here.